Can you complete the name by filling in the gaps? Let's start with, I'm actually gonna work backwards here. Because the end is all, that means that this OH has got the higher priority and we're going to start counting from closer to that group. That makes this carbon number one and therefore this one all. Now let's keep counting to position this ene. This is carbon two and this is carbon three. So pent three ene one all. Now, what goes here? Whenever we're looking at alkenes, we should always, always, always look out to see if we've got EZ isomerism. And that's where we've got two different groups on the carbons in that carbon-carbon double bond. In this case, we do. On this carbon, sorry, on this carbon here, we've got a methyl group and we've got this hydrogen. And on this carbon here, we've got this rest of the molecule. And again, we've got a hydrogen. Now, because these high priority groups are on opposite sides, this is the E isomer, making this E pent three ene one ol. If you said three E instead, that is probably even better. How did you do?